Good morning. So it's Friday morning. Chris and I are working upstairs. Fred's been helping us redo on the fresh water, make it all nice and fancy. So a lot of you guys don't know, it's my hair wife, May Chris. Chris was first guy with me since the start of the company, but you never see him in the videos because he's quiet and just kind of does his own thing. But he helps me out with all, like take care of all the fresh water stuff upstairs. And he also works in the field too. So Chris and I are going to tear apart this 47 gallon column tank. Now it's a fresh water 47 gallon column. The lighting's kind of low. There's some, some driftwood in there, but the cool part about doing like when we do these aquascapes and these designs, I love creating something new. So right here, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a freshwater fish tank. Check it out. It's picking out a filtration system for that tank. Chris is draining it right now. For the 47 gallon, you would think, well, why don't you go with a 50 gallon filter, like a hang on back? Well, the Amper, uh, well, the Penguin 200 work out pretty well, but it's just not strong enough when we want. I mean, when they see things as up to 50 gallons, we want past that. So it's time to move on up with that more power. <clears throat> So we're gonna move up to Ampere 400. This is gonna work. We're gonna get the double dueling ashing, especially with the bio wheels. We also built it for aerobic bacteria, and also what I love about the fact that we can use any sort of media that we want in the back well. So if we're using phosphilatrum, pure filtrum, any size of scavenger resins as well can all we go know back. what tank we're doing. We're doing a 47 gallon column. We know what filter we're gonna do. The big question is, Chris, what type of fish are we doing? We're gonna do community tropical or African cichlids? You pick. Community tropical. He says community and tropical. We're going with community. All right, let's do it, Chris. We're going to go through the shop. And Chris, let's pick out what we're basing the tank on. So what we're basing the tank on, the type of fish, is kind of what we're going to base the layout of the tank. So Chris, I'm going to let you pick out what fish you want to base it on. What do you want to base it on? We'll do community tropical. Or then we're going to do discus. Eh, 47 is kind of small for discus. Eh, we probably could, though. Angelfish, or if we're going to do like geophagus, parrotfish, gouramis. We could do tetras, swordtails. A lot of options going so on here. So we picked out community. What type of community do you want to do? Uh, just uh, tropical fish. Just uh. Just what do you want to do for a main fish? Angelfish? All right, angelfish. So we're going to go at base the tank on as an angelfish as our main display fish and what we're going to choose for background fish. Now, we're not adding fish right this second, but we're going to base the tank. the tank. We want to pick out like woods, rocks, and things like that. So, Chris, what do you want to do? We're going to do like a natural gravel because that's my favorite and you don't have a choice in that one. But let's pick out types of wood. So we can do anything like Pandora wood, Sabu wood. We can do, we have spider wood in the back. We have dragon woods. We have big Malaysian driftwoods. It's picking and choosing what aquascape's gonna really make this pop. And the other thing is picking out what type of rock we're gonna do. Are we gonna do dragon rock? Are we gonna do Sayuk rock? Are we not gonna do rock? What are you thinking? Oh, and are we doing fake plants or real plants? Fake plants. All right, that's good fish usually in the field and stuff like that when it comes to freshwater, it's usually these altums. So we're gonna make like a pair of these, the main display fish. Now, when you get into a pair of fish on like tank mates, because if they go into breeding, they're gonna be aggressive and things like that. So we gotta pick things that work as a big community group because we want the point of the tank to be like oh i love watching this not the point of the tank to like watch this angry angelfish pair chase everything off and it doesn't happen it it does happen we're going to do the best we can to make it work so what chris working on the tank so what did he choose for wood well we went with the saba wood as the main display why because it's a cool looking unique wood and you don't see it very often the other thing i like about it because we're shooting you guys a video it clears up fast like you don't get any tan into that and that's really really important when you try to put I something I'm putting you on the spot right now. Can I describe to you like what's going on in your head right this second? I'm just trying to make it so it looks good, but there's enough swimming room also. So he's trying to do the back tank. He's trying to come off with the wood and then to create some sort of spots in the front. So it just doesn't look like a big mess. Like this. Oh, so we're using dragon rock. It's kind of going to look a little bit scape. You did all the natural stone and then the Sabo raw wood right here. This is cool looking. I like the way the shapes are. It gives like this cool spot for the like tetras and small things to swim in and out of. We got where the rocks are gonna go. We got the woods where we want them. Now, the best part, my absolute favorite part is adding the plants. But I gotta take this hoodie off. It's way too hot for this. Greatest trick to aquascaping for I feel like is if you're gonna do like plastic plants or fake plants, you gotta get a good plant. Don't buy none of those garbage ones. It's just not going to look right. Get yourself some good quality like this, something that has some flowers in it, something that has some color. It's only going to make the tank look that much better. Just watch what this does. Yeah, spread that around. Yeah. yeah, so you give it a look action. Sure Chris is doing. You gotta pick, you gotta have foreground, you gotta have background plants, you gotta really give it depth and color. You want it to make it look good. How do you make it out? I'm good. It's 
All right, sweet deal. I like it. I think that's a good enough plan. So let's take a back look. And yeah, we got cool. to look with. The only thing I'm not a big fan right now is it needs more light. So we got we got to go. We got to do something about that. Another really important thing that this took me a while to long, and I know it sounds weird, but you got to have good lighting on a tank, especially a fresh water tank. If you want to make a fresh water tank pop, you got to have a good yeah. light source. I'm gonna use for this tank because what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do a glass top on this. Okay, now that this normally would take a glass top, but I like. I might do something with plants coming out of it. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe a branch, something like that. Let's do a photon V2, and let's put that on there. And this way here, we can control the Look how much better that looks. Look how the pop just happens, you know? It just looks so much better. All the way around. The best part. Chris, you get the fill it is. I want to pick out a heater. So we're going to pick out one of the Jaegers for the heaters and let that be one of the heater systems. Remember, you're doing community tropical. You don't want the temperature around 78 degrees. So let's take that upstairs. Let's put all the wood and the plants. I always hide the heaters in the back. The object is to not see the heaters. That makes it a lot easier. And then we set everything where you see the plants. We try to prevent the plants from hitting any of the sides. This way here, we can clean the glass, get it through, and then go through the gravel back let's as well. Open up all the water back into the tank. Because the tank was already up and running, I'm not going to add a nitrifying back. Bacteria. Normally we would. Normally I'd add turbo start right now if this was a brand new tank we were just setting up. But it's already been pre-running. We left a little water in there and that's existing gravel. So the bacteria is already inside there. But what I am going to add is complete. It's a water conditioner for the water to be safe for the fish. And the other thing is I'm going to add is trace elements. I really like the trace. These are Fritz Aquatics products. I like them. They work pretty well. There is other products out there that I do because of Seachem. But for us, for fresh water, these I feel like for what they cost are the best bang for the you. filters. And one of the things we use this for water clarity is Max Out, baby. This is great stuff. It'll actually help you clarify your tank. It's an all-in-one media with some great scavenger resins. Max Out. Right back here. So right in the waterfall. It's complete. I'm going to use five milliliters. This is actually treats so 50 gallons. It works really well. Stick that right inside the tank. It's up and running. Everything looks good. You can see the new lighting and how everything pops. I love the way that looks. So you can see the top with that nice, cool purple maroonish. You got the greens. You got the white tips like the flowers. And then you got these multicolors like maroon reds with the greens on this plant here. And the Sabo wood looks really neat because it's unique and it gives a spot for the fish to swim. I like how it's heavy up top and kind of thins out towards the bottom. And the bottom, you got all that dragon rock to the natural stone. It gives it a it's cool. It's going to take about the water about a half hour, 45 minutes to clear, sometimes a little bit longer. Within, by the Tomorrow, mwah, crystal clear. It's gonna like have that really nice cut, clean, crisp look. Now this is what you're seeing with the normal marine land tank, but we should see what we can do with a water box aquarium. Check these oh, out. Yeah, rimless look. I think they look fantastic. Between the whites, the reds, the blacks, and everything's so cut and clean. This is here just a dry tank we did with the 74 rimless. Uh, water box aquarium and this thing is just sexy i love the fact that it's all black top rimless you can see how we use the photon v2 on it and the different styles woods with the plants imagine this even if you did this with a black sand or a natural gravel the color on this for a freshwater tank was unreal i really love these aquariums that whole project in about an hour if you want to get into your own aquarium come on by the shop this is what we love to do we can show you what type of fish it is we just showed you community and travel but wait till we show you things like african cichlids and there's other like bigger fish as well and also check out some of the water box systems all right guys i'm getting out of here as always keep on reefing baby Woo!